Hey what's up guys it's Talha here and in today's video I will be showing you how to create L'Oreal headquarters in Revit. If you want to know about this building I will put a link in the description so just check that out. And before I get started I would just like to ask you guys to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Okay, here I have this building model which I will be using for this tutorial. So first I will just go to level 1. Then I will select wall. Just go to architecture tab and select wall. And from here select curtain wall. Now click on edit type. Here you must need to check this automatically in the checkbox. So I will just click here and I will go OK and for the height I will go from level 1 until level 8 which is actually the building height so now I will just create a curtain wall here like this now just select the curtain wall and click edit profile here I will move to the front view so we can clearly see our wall profile or we better change the visual style to hidden line okay in my previous video I have shown you how you can make designs or shapes in Revit but for this tutorial I will be using an AutoCAD file so I will just go to insert and here just click import cat here I have this cat file so I will just select it and I will go open as you can see nothing has changed here you only got this warning and a single line here the reason why it happened like this is because we are in a 3d view so before importing a cat file you must need to set the word plane first or you need to go to any of the elevations so I will just delete this line first then I will go to the south elevation now I will repeat the same procedure again to import the cat file so I will just go to insert import cat select the file and open and now we have imported the cat file properly now I will just select all these shapes and I will just place them here ok now we don't need this rectangle and we don't need this wall profile as well so I will just take the cursor here and I will press and all the connected lines are now highlighted so just click and press delete key on your keyboard or you can just click here now we will just finish edit mode We will just move to the 3D view and there you go we have created this cool looking facade in Revit. Now I will do the same with the other walls as well.
Okay, now we will add the geometric patterns to the glass. So just take your cursor to the curtain wall and just press tab key on your keyboard until the shapes highlighted. As you can see, all the shapes are highlighted now. So just we will first unpin it. So just click here and just go edit type. We will first duplicate it. So I will just keep it as is. And now click here the material. And we will first create a new material. So just go here and create new material. I will just rename it geometric pattern. Just click on use render appearance. Now I will click here to open the asset browser. And here go to appearance library, then glass, and scroll down. Here you have this wired material. So just replace this and close. And here we will change this image. So just click on the image and now click here the text here which is actually the material name or source actually so just click here I am going to be using this image so I will just select and open now change the scale to 20 feet by 20 feet and you need to add the same image in the transparency as well so just click here and click on the image and I will select the same image and I will just scale it to 20 feet by 20 feet then I will go ok ok now we will change the visual style to realistic so just go here and I will just select realistic and there you go we have made this geometric pattern on the glass and that's it for today I hope you have learned something from this tutorial so please like share and subscribe and see you guys in the next video